Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with EEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over are possible alternative refrigerants for R410i. So this video is sponsored by Danfoss, and they have free resources over at their refrigeration and air conditioning learning portal, and we have that link down in the description section below. We're using the Danfoss Refrigerant Slider app to examine R410i refrigerant, and R410i is one of the most widely used refrigerants for, for air conditioning and heat pump units and things like that but it has a very high global warming potential. So we're gonna be also looking at some of the alternatives to R4 tonight. Global warming potential has to do with the amount of heat that the refrigerant gases trap when they're released into the atmosphere. So accidental releases happen, the uh, systems leak and refrigerant gets in the atmosphere. So, so that's why we wanna work with refrigerants that have a lower GWP. So on the refrigerant slider app, we see our safety group of A1, and that's non-flammable and non-toxic. So R4 tonight is good with being in the safety group of A1. However, we have it made up of 50% R32 and 50% R125. And so we need to take a look at those two refrigerants because that's what makes up the GWP of 1924. The newer refrigerants that we work with are going to need to be a lower GWP. Before I switch over to R32, I also want you to pay attention at 40 degrees for, say, an evaporator coil. We're running at about 118.8 PSI. So now let's go ahead and look in our slider over to R32. And you're going to notice a much lower GWP. So we're looking at 677 for a GWP. That's, that's great. However, down here in the safety group, we're looking at A2L, which is slightly flammable. So that that's a, a big consideration for using it in residential commercial buildings. Uh, the oil is still the same as R4 tonight. It's POE oil. And let's look at 40 degrees. And we're looking at 121 PSIG. So fairly close to R4 tonight. So now let's search for R125. And, and now that we're in here, you see that you have a GWP of 3,170. So R125 was not selected because of its high GWP, but because of its safety group. So the safety group is A1. So when you mix R125 with R32, then you're going to end up with a safety group of A1. So you're no longer going to have that R32 safety group of A2L. You also see that the oil is POE. So the whole point is to be able to use less of R125 because of its high global warming potential. So R32 is an alternative to R4 tonight. So just by itself, R32 can be used in systems, but it's typically just used in package units in the United States presently. Uh, and it does have an A2L safety group rating. And that is the big factor for what it can and can't be used in. Now there's other refrigerants that are being examined as well, such as R452B. And you see that the global warming potential for this refrigerant is 676. In the chemical formula right here, you see that it has R125, but it only has 7% of that. It uses R1234, YF, and it has 26% of that, and there's 67% of R32. So it's made up of three refrigerants as a refrigerant blend, but this one also has an A2L safety group rating. It does use POE oil. And this refrigerant is made up of HFC refrigerants, which are hydrogen fluorine carbon refrigerants, and the HFO refrigerant R1234YF. HFO refrigerants have an extremely low GWP. So let's look at that. So here we see a very low GWP, just as much as CO2. So the global warming potential of CO2 is 1. And in fact, the whole basis for global warming potential is based off of CO2. But once again, this has an A2L safety rating. It can be used with POE oil, and this is an HFO refrigerant. HFO is a hydrofluoroolefin refrigerant. So here we have carbon dioxide, which is R744, and you see the global warming potential here is 1. But this carbon dioxide can't be used in refrigerants for air conditioning systems just due to its triple point and also critical point. Uh, however, it's an A1 refrigerant, and it's very safe but it has a very high pressure for the applications it can be used in. Another refrigerant that's a good alternative for R4 tonight is R454B. So this has a GWP of only 466, which is even lower than R32 and also R452B. It's a mix of R32 and R1234YF. So this looks like a very promising refrigerant for the future, and 
the chemical formula is R32 is 68.9% and 31.1% of R1234YF. R454B has a safety group rating of A2L, which means it's slightly flammable. And so it just looks like all the refrigerants that could be very good for air conditioning and heat pump systems and have a good boiling point for that are either slightly flammable or very flammable. So that's what we're working with. There's a lot of other refrigerants out there, but this seems to be a very promising refrigerant right here. If you want to learn more about working with refrigerants and how to prepare a system for a refrigerant and check the refrigerant charge, check out our book, The Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning. We have this book available over at our website at acservicetech.com. We also have the book available over at amazon.com. The ebook is available over at Google Play. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.